Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm building an open air theatre in The Sims 4 and I was inspired by like the Greek and Roman amphitheatres and I wanted to have that vibe at least. I knew that I wouldn't actually build an, such a theatre just because it would have been too large and um, it would have had to be like a semicircle and I didn't want to do quite that large of a build so I made it a quarter circle in a sense and replicated like the vibe of it at least a little bit and I used the platform tool plenty there and I made it two stories and um, made it like grand looking and mostly white um, and I made like the stage area where I am now I made into half covered or with the roof and half not because I wanted it to be um, there to be some music instruments and I didn't want to be them to be in the open I wanted them to be covered so that's why I did that here and I used a bunch of archways to like simulate the architecture style that was prevalent in the Roman and Greek period and then I also needed like the entrances to the areas and um, under the top seating areas I put the toilet and also some storage area for like the theater so that were that are those are the two doors in the back of the lot that I put down, and then I also had a little bit of well fun with the um, trim. It was a little bit tricky sometimes to get it right, to have it not overlap with like the inside. So yeah, I don't really like using it all that often because it's really difficult to use sometimes. And here I'm doing the toilet area and um, because it's on a diagonal, you can do like one by one toilets. At least I think so. I haven't actually play tested it, but I used that here because the space was there and I thought it would make sense. And here are like a bunch of things way more than you would ever need but um, it didn't make sense to put anything else there so I made it like that. And here is the storage area and I put down a bunch of lockers and also two kitchen cabinets, the large ones, because I really like using them as like fake storage. I think it fits really well. And then I put some more lights down because it was a little bit dark in the toilet area. But I didn't want to use saucer lights because they are not the vibe. So yeah, that's why I used those wall lights, which are quite dark, dark, but it made the most sense. And now in the middle area of like the uh, where the visitors sit, I put benches. On the other areas, I didn't because they didn't really have space for that. It was just a little bit too narrow. And after I did that part, I moved on to the stage part. And here you can see, because I deleted that wall, I needed to delete the trim again, because it was in places that I didn't want it to be. And now I'm putting down the um, music instruments. And now I'm actually, okay, I didn't make it into a lounge, I did made it into a museum because that made the most sense. And I put a bunch of paintings there because I thought, well, those are like the backgrounds of the play or um, tragedy that they are performing there. That was the reasoning, reasoning that I had. I'm not sure if it's all that realistic, but that was the reasoning. I just wasn't sure what else I could make it. And then I put down some landscaping and I kept it pretty manicured. I didn't want it to be too wild just because I thought it would make more sense like that. And then I paved the area a little bit more and I was finished. Now you can see some screenshots of the build. I hope you like it. You can download it from the gallery. My ID is TGG Sims, same as my YouTube channel name. 
I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Thanks very much for watching and have a great week. Bye!